I'm Mike Boyd. I'm from Georgetown and Halton Hills, and I'm the owner of a 1962 Plymouth Fury. I bought the Fury in May of 1970, and I bought it for a uh, winter car. You know what? It's a it's a special car. It was I think it was special when it was made, and, it's, and for the lady that bought the car new. And at the time when I bought it, it was just another old car. But uh, after we got into it to restore it, um, it turns out it's a very uh, rare car. There's only was a few of them built. So uh, it's nice to have a car that nobody else has. I bought it for $150. And I thought, you know what, this car is pretty, pretty not, too, not too bad. I think I'm going to race this car. But uh, I needed some work, so I, I painted it and uh, did some work on the, on the drive line of the car. And we started to race it at uh, Golden Horseshoe Dragway. Uh, I was fortunate to be the first car in the gate. So they gave me a lifetime pass to Golden Horseshoe Dragway. And that allowed me to race the car on Friday nights and Saturday and Sunday, whenever there was races going on. Okay. It was uh, an oddball car. So let me say, say oddball is because nobody really, really knew much about it. So whenever I was drag racing it uh, against another car, they, they knew very little about the car. Turns out it was quicker than they thought it was going to be, and I ended up winning most of the most of the match races that I did with it. So I made a lot of money with it. And a lot of people were very surprised when they didn't beat me. <laughs> so it turned out to be a great car for that. And it was a big surprise to a lot of people after they raced against it. Yeah. Well, you know what, I take care of it so I don't, I don't abuse it anymore. <laughs> when I first bought it, I abused it quite a bit with racing it, but I don't race it anymore. I knew it was a, a, a fast car, so you know what? We, uh, I bought it, and uh, uh, first thing I wanted to do was make it faster. So uh, this 62 Plymouth has a, a Golden Commando engine in it, which was a 361 cubic inches, uh, with 305 horsepower. That's uh, a four barrel, dual exhaust, and it came with a push button, automatic transmission. Up until a year ago, I had that motor in the car, and then we had uh, a coolant problem, coolant leak, and the motor finally cracked, and we had to give up the motor. So the motor came out, and um, in its place is uh, 413. It was out of a 61, uh, 61 Chrysler, so it's fit right in the car, and it bolted right up to the push button automatic. So now it's got a 413, 390 horsepower motor in it, so it's even quicker than it used to be. painted it black when I first met my wife and uh, was black uh, for our wedding. Then when we decided to restore it, uh, we restored it back to the original color that the factory had, which was red with a white stripe and white interior. So uh, it's now red and white the same way it was when it was built. Uh, no, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty much restored um, completely now. You're always looking for some special part for it maybe, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going to stay in the family forever. My son, um, certainly will get it, um, and he likes it now. At one time, he thought it was just another old car, but now he appreciates it more. But you know, every spring when you pull it out of the garage, uh, after the winter's over, it's a special car again. Nice to be able to keep it for a show car, but it's also nice to drive it too.